County, 10,000 kids are also headed back to class in a couple of hours. Our team coverage continues with News 3's Kelly Antonacci. She's live for us in Richmond Hill. She talked to the superintendent's office yesterday about what you need to know before you head out today. Kelly, good morning to you. Good morning, Ben and Kim. Yeah, no big changes you really need to worry about over here, but he says what you do need to worry about is traffic. That's going to be a big concern today. Buses are going to be back out on the roads, and they say that more people drive in these first two days than any other time of year. So we want to take this time to remind you that Georgia did change its laws when it comes to stopping for buses. Law enforcement says it will be out in full force to enforce those new rules and school speed limits. So just a reminder here, you do need to stop if a bus is stopped in front of you or stopped on the other side of any two or four lane roads. The new code says you do not need to stop if the bus stops on the other side of a divided highway or road with a median in the middle. And Georgia does mean business. If you violate these rules, a judge could slap you with a $1,000 fine. You'll have to show up in court. You could get up to six points on your license. And if you're under 21 years old, police might suspend your license. And double check, triple check what time school starts this morning. Here at Richmond Hill High School, school starts at 7.30 this morning. And we've got Storm Team 3 meteorologist Kyle Dennis in the Weather Center with a check on your bus stop forecast. Kyle, it's muggy out here in Richmond Hill, and I'm assuming it's like that throughout much of the coastal empire. Yeah, there's no escaping that this morning, Kelly, unfortunately. Not a good